All right, so there are a lot of steps in learning. And what you have to go through is you'll find a massive mental issue, like a massive mental block. So once you learn all this stuff, you are going to hit a point where everything's going good for a week, and then you take your first lost trade, and it's going to really freaking suck. Real true story. When I started to trade, I um, I actually lost half before I made anything. And that's because I am a very, very emotionally driven person, and I'm just not in for it. I mean, okay, so here's how it would go. I would take a trade. Everything's going good. And then, uh, so I did this during school, and I didn't really have anyone to talk to about because they had no idea that what I was doing. So I'd basically be like, oh my gosh, so this indicator's looking good, this indicator's looking good. Uh, and then... I have a class, and then I the next class, in the passing period, I look at my phone again. All right, I'm up $50. That's pretty decent. Now, um, none of my indicators say to sell, so I keep on holding. Um, so I keep on holding. Sorry, my mom called on, my, on the phone. Um, actually, give me a sec. Um, I forgot what we were talking about for a minute. Um, so, you're going to want to keep a notebook of all your trades and what you could have done better on them. And you're going to want to write them down every single time. For me, I got this one. But this is also a coding notebook because, I don't know, I have stuff. But it's pretty full of just work. And so you're going to want to keep a log and what you could have done better on that trade. Um, so yeah, that's what you could have done, and that's what you should do anyways. Um, because once you do that, you'll start identifying your mistakes more and more, and you you got to find ways around that. So, yeah, that's basically... Wait, also, meditate in the morning. <laughs> Meditate in the morning. Um, think about ways that you can get over your trading anxiety. So I personally, I set alerts. Then once those alerts go off, I all I have to do is look back on my phone and hit sell. I don't want to see the chart as it is happening. I don't want to see it because I'll get nervous and quickly sell. So I'll just set alerts for whatever I need and then once those alerts are set I don't have to worry about anything and I'll just get an alert on my watch but I don't know I'm wearing it but I'll just get an alert on my watch and I'll hit sell I won't look at the charts I mean that that's a very big piece if you're swing trading now if you're day trading it's different if you're long-term investing that's um, the same as swing trading I don't like to look at it I just set my alerts um, set a stop loss if it goes below here, boom, you're done. All right, so you, we are going to, yeah. Also, music, music, number one key. Here, look. Come over here. Uh, Spotify's loading. So, sorry if this is a pretty big distraction, but I don't have a second screen. I mean, I do, but. They're different because they're separate computers, and I don't know how to. I mean, I could do this. Alright, so. Um, see? Made it on Spotify. Trading playlist. Go add some songs. Go add some songs. And see right here. Um, just got some pretty, pretty, pretty good songs. I do it pretty regularly, but they just have to be pretty chill songs because they don't want to get your um, worries up. So yeah. Also, stretch and to get your ment right mental mindset, um, work out a little bit. Like um, do pull-ups, sit-ups, um, 
and maybe run before you even trade in in the morning. Um, also, get a good night's rest. Go to sleep. Uh, go to sleep early. Um, that's been really hard for me as a teenager because all my friends are, they really want to hang out like all the time. And if it's a Sunday, I'll have to come back by 9 and fall asleep for Monday, which means I'll have, since I'll be up by 5 o'clock, and then, yeah, I'll start trading. But I also like to take a quick run and get the juices flowing, you know. So if you're struggling with um, trading, write this down. All right, so thanks for watching.